All right, act two, who to trust? The first curtain. After claiming the knight's power, Kutaro vanquished Tiger and escaped the Black Castle with the witch, Ying Yang, and Picarina. Where would fate lead them next? Act two starts here. All right, we'll find out. All right. Seven new heads in this and stage. So Damn. The story continues. At long last, Kutaro and his new friend Picarina were free of Castle Grizzlestein, born to safety by the witch's magic. Huh. Our fugitives needed a safe place to hide, and so they chose Castle Waxway, the same flying palace from which the moon goddess once ruled. Huh. In those better days, the White Castle was resplendent, a sight to behold. But the tides of darkness had since dulled its sparkle and loosened the stone of its walls and columns. Okay. Whoa, that is quite white. We'll just hide out here for a spell. But, like, this is Castle Waxway. Doesn't it belong to... The goddess? Yes, indeed. Although palace and master alike seem to have come apart at the seams. Silence, <laughs> Ying Yang! No one asked for your opinion! Out of the darkness and into the light, Kutaro had gone from Black Castle to White. This is more like it. No <laughs> moon bear king spies and lackeys to follow our every move. Uh-huh. You've got a lot of gumption, you know that? Only one Heine should be warming that throne, and it doesn't have a war on it. The moon goddess is gone, Dandelion. I'm sure the palace is delighted to have such a promising new master. She is obnoxious. Try pompous. Try shutting up. Oh, my little earth sense savior. Why, you're nothing short of a hero. Come, be a good child and let me have a gander at that moonstone shard. Don't do it, Kataro. Calibrus, the moonstone, and the palace all belong to the goddess. And this magic slinging loony is obviously trying Whoa. to dupe you out of that. <laughs> How can you say such a thing? All I want is what's best for Bob. What's his name? <laughs> Whatever. Granny's trying to explain, so knock it off! Ow! Oh my gosh! What a witch! The moon bear king kidnapped Kotaro's soul while he was sleeping. He does that to Earth, children. And that's where the moonstone comes in. The source of all moonlight. After the moon bear king shattered the stone, he gave the pieces to his generals. And you see how they shine. That's just one shot. Huh, how many more are there? How I would have if you collected them all. <sighs> Could easily spirit could go back home to her. You really mean it? It's in your best interest too, my sweet. Didn't you say the Sun Princess was searching for the Moon Goddess? Yeah. Why? The Moonstone is a symbol of the Goddess's power. Restore the stone, restore the Goddess. This huh. could be your big chance. <laughs> so she's convincing she's everyone to help her. Huh. General Rat has another moonstone shard, and you're going to get it back. I still don't trust you. You're using Kataro, and I am so going to prove it. You'll have to catch him first. Oops. Hey, Kataro! Oh. <laughs> and remember, you can tell a rat if you smell a rat. Go get him! Alrighty then. Well, Kutaro had taken the Moon Witch Plunge, and now he found himself in a secluded grove in the Moonwood. That hag is such a... Ugh. How are we going to find one lousy rodent in a place this big? Ah, she replaced the cat. <laughs> oh! A 
flash of purple later, and the quiet, unassuming grove had transformed huh. into a gloomy, reeking landscape. Ugh. Dark horribleness. Once I darkify the moonwood and offer it to the moonbear king a tribute, I will be uneasily straight. <laughs> so that's you did this, General Rat. General Rat. Oh, come on. Oh. Down to my last head. This is not good. Generally tend to be upright citizens, but these storks had grown fangs and wanted to chow down on Kutaro. All right, an extra head, good. If I might share a bit of moon law, have you heard this one? Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was a lineage of radiant moon princesses who began their lives as tiny babies inside bamboo stalks. But then, one of the princess's souls had a little mishap and wound up in a bamboo stalk on Earth by accident. Sort of the opposite of young Kutaro here. Forget about Kutaro. How can you bring up radiant princesses and not mention me? No. What? How dare you question your narrator? I'm omniscient. If you know, you gross caterpillars. <laughs> she punched him in the head. Look. Caterpillar head. Nice. Caterpillar head. It looks like that caterpillar we saw went to town on these bamboo stalks. All right, very nice. A coin of glory streamer. And is that a panda? It's playing with the A panda in the background. Adorable. Hey, look. Bamboo shoot. Oh. Presenting the car as he swims his way up the waterfall. I got a coin of Bori head. They're symbols of growing up healthy and strong. I know that, but who put them up? Oh, let's not get mired in details. Aren't you in a hurry? Damn, we got eaten. Oh, you got fucking eaten, dude. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Damn it. Panda head? I never found a panda head. Where the hell do you get a panda head from? That sucks. Rat's purple goo had already oh! filled up the Moonwood's pristine water supply, transforming the local carp Lost into the ferocious hat. demon fish who took none too kindly to trespassers. Hey, you don't suppose the rat is hiding out up river at the top of the waterfall? What the hell? I just lost another head. He ate it. Oh my gosh! Alright, I got my spiked head back. Ugh. Oh, okay. Phew. Now, uh, arrived at a bridge that arched a truly impressive waterfall. Holy cascade! 
Do we really have to climb this thing? Huh. We're gonna do it. Ah. Keep climbing and don't look down. Oh. Almost fell. It looks like you can fall in there. I don't know how, though. Oh, my God! There's killer fish behind me. I didn't know that. Oh, man. I didn't know.